Hello, I'm Beth the Builder, and this week I uh, build a fridge shelf. All right, so I have an old fridge, and um, when we moved in, the third shelf frame was all broken and had been put together, I don't know, with like gum or something silly. And it was also like rusty and disgusting, and I just didn't know what to do with it. So we got rid of it. But recently I had thought about what if I built a fridge shelf? Why the f not? Like, why couldn't I do that? Um, I know that you could probably go to like your local like TV and appliance and they might be able to um, like find a similar model of fridge and get you a shelf, but I don't really care about this fridge that much. It's pretty old and um, you know, I mean, I don't really wanna do that, I guess is the answer. Yeah, so I have some uh, scrap wood and yeah, that's what we're gonna build. We're gonna build a, a damn fridge, sh fridge shelf. Boy, that's hard to say. All right, so yeah, I cut my boards to size. I had to tack two together because I didn't have one that was the right width for the fridge. There's four little cylindri cylindrical brackets that the shelf would like sit on top of. And so I, um, yeah, routed out on the bottom little areas. So then the shelf like, like fits into place on top of those. Okay, so the thing that totally tripped me up on this project was contact paper. I can't believe it. So I had a giant roll that I got at a thrift shop for like a dollar, and I definitely had to cover this thing twice, and then I didn't have enough contact paper for the bottom, so just the top is covered in contact paper. <sighs> I don't understand why people use this because it was not that great. But I'm trying to keep, you know, like, kind of protect the top and, you know, create kind of a moisture proof barrier. But then, like, I don't even have enough to do the top and the bottom because I just f***ed it up. Like, it just had, like, dirt and, like, my fingerprints underneath it. And it just looks stupid and bad. And uh, so, yeah, of all things that tripped me up in contact paper. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think this would have been more difficult if I needed to make a shelf that goes into the, like I think most, most fridges have like shelves that you can move up and down and then there's like um, little brackets on the back where they like hook into place and stuff. So if one of those had been broken, it probably would have been a little bit more annoying. Um, and, but, but maybe not, I mean, maybe you could just go and buy like a shelf that like hangs that way anyway. I don't know. But this was just super simple because there's already a place for the shelf to go. There's already four little um, brackets that hold the shelf up. Um, I guess the only thing that's missing is this shelf would have the drawers slide in and out of it. And I don't necessarily have anything to do that with. So the drawers just sit underneath it and it's just like produce and like that in it anyway. So you just slide it out and take it out and then put it back. So it's not like quite as easy, but I mean, it's better than not having a shelf there at all, which is what we had for a while. And that was really annoying. If I had kept the original shelf and it hadn't been super and broken, I probably could have cobbled something together with that, with maybe the under sh um, drawer pull out things, but I just don't have it anymore. Um, so. This is just the way it goes. That's okay. I mean, you can't win them all, but um, yeah, the biggest tool that was very, very handy for this project was my router. Um, I love that thing. It is so handy and it just gets it. It does it, it does all the things. 
Yeah, if you like search, um, you know, build a fridge shelf or a broken fridge shelf DIY or something, like there's like nothing out there. Like I could not find any, like anyone that had built a fridge shelf from wood or plastic or metal or anything. So I guess maybe I'm the first person to do it. I don't know, probably not. And obviously there's probably other options that are better. You could totally go and call your local, um, yeah, TV and appliance, or I feel like maybe other places that sell brand new fridges and, and appliances wouldn't really give a sh that your fridge is broken. They'd probably be like, come and buy a new one. So probably a, a used appliance place is the way to go. Um, but I figured I could probably cobble something together with what I had. And I wasn't too worried about the drawers because I just don't care about them that much. So, all right. So now I have a shelf here. Pretty handy, fits in everything. If you want more honest home repair with me, Beth the Builder, please subscribe. If you don't, then don't subscribe. You know, it's pretty simple. Um, like, dislike. I have more links in the description below of where you can find me in other places on the internet. I have new videos every Friday and thanks for watching.